Hi guys, it's me, Melanie, the Whole Food Plant-Based Coach for Caregivers who want to eliminate chronic stress and maintain optimal health while caregiving. So I wanted to come on today to talk about the reason why your chronic illness may not be rooted in your diet. And I say this because I was thinking about my own personal situation. When I was, you know, when I was caregiving, I was caregiving three people at the time. And I had relatively, I thought I had relatively no health problems, right? But the, con the chronic stress and constant stress of caregiving caused me to adopt different behaviors that were not good for my health. And in turn, I developed several chronic diseases. So many times when you go to your doctor, even myself was included. I go to the doctor, I tell them my, my problem, what I'm dealing with, how I'm feeling. And so they may just tell me what treatment I need or give me some treatment options. And say if you're suffering, or you're overweight, or you're starting to develop some type of chronic disease, they may tell, oh, you need to change your diet and you need to exercise blah, 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 right? But, and then they send you off on your way with your prescription. However, what I noticed all that time when I had, was de dealing, taking care of so many people, I was under a tremendous amount of stress. And now I recognize that a lot of the health situations that I was dealing with were related to my stress. But never once did the doctor say, Oh, maybe it's the stress that's causing that is causing these issues, right? So when I look back on it and now being a health coach, I see the correlation and I see that the behaviors that I adopted were as a result of the chronic stress that I was dealing with. Uh the chronic stress, my time constraints caused me to choose unhealthy food options, the exhaustion, the low energy caused me to adopt and choose diff, uh, unhealthy food options, maybe have that extra glass of wine, uh, not getting up and exercising. So uh, the, um, the mental effect of the caregiving, depression, um, anxiety, all those things, stress-related things were related to the choices that I was making as far as my diet and my exercise. So the cause, the root cause wasn't necessarily my diet or my sedentary lifestyle. It was related to the stress. And so there's different types of stress. There's uh, acute stress. That's something like if a car is coming at you and you jump out the way and your body has a stress response, that's an acute stress. And then there's chronic stress, long-term stress over time, maybe a very stressful job, maybe a, a long-term financial situation uh, that's causing an issue or um, relationship issue, marriage. Long-term chronic, that's chronic stress. And then there could be... Um, Traumatic stress or physical stress, I mean, you could actually get hit by a car or be in some, or you could um, injure yourself playing a sport or, or whatever, something like that. That could be uh, physical stress or traumatic stress to the body. So there's different types of stress. And stress is not bad because it's a good thing. We need stress and because uh, what causes the stress what well how our body is phys physiologically um designed is that we have hormones that when we're in a stressful situation our hormones come into effect and they start to play its role in order to keep us safe and to protect us you know um when we're under uh, a stressful situation our digestive system shuts down uh, our blood flows out to our limbs because we may have to run or fight. Uh, certain brain functions uh, slow down because we need to we need to use more physical strength. 
uh, several different body functions start to prepare for this fight or flight situation. Um, our blood pressure goes up, our heart starts beating faster, a lot of physiological things start to go on with our body. However, with chronic stress, your body is always at this stress level and it doesn't stop. With an acute situation, once you jump out of the way of the car, your body returns to normal. The stress goes down, your body functions start to um, work the way they should. However, chronic stress, your blood pressure never goes down. Your, uh, if your body, your circulation, the inflammation, your way your brain, everything is still at that stress level. And over time, it creates chronic diseases such as high blood pressure, heart disease, uh, diabetes, uh, mental disorders, uh, even some cancers, that long-term stress. However, it, if, you know, usually when we're in a stressful situation, once the stressful situation or event is done, it returns to normal. So stress is useful. It helps us to live and uh, to be safe and to be able to function and deal with different situations. However, that long-term chronic stress can be detrimental to, to our health. And so sometimes we, like I said, we focus on a diet. If we have a, we're dealing with obesity or high blood pressure or some other type of chronic disease, we would tend to focus on the diet and the exercise and those other lifestyle changes, right? But the stress component can be crucial in order to succeed. And in order to do that, you have to change your mindset on how you look at things and how you... Uh, approach different areas of your life. So um, the root for me, my health challenges was rooted in stress, not necessarily in my diet, even though I, I was not eating well, but the root cause was the stress because I was reacting to my chronic stress by um, adopting behaviors lifestyle behaviors that were very unhealthy. So, that being said, I you know, because as I continued on, I think I mentioned in another video how even though I had adopted a whole food plant-based diet, I still wasn't well. I was still feeling sick. I was still going to urgent care with different types of things. It's because I was eating well, and doing exercising, but I wasn't addressing the stress. So my body was constantly in that state of stress, fight and flight. And so I didn't achieve the kind of health, the optimal health that I desired and that I needed in order to be uh, the best, my best self and my best self from people that I was caring for. So. Chronic stress is deadly. It's deadly. And so when I created my program, uh, a truly plant-based, we address the chronic stress. And we sometimes when you go to the doctor and you t and they diagnose you with hypertension or they might diagnose you with uh, diabetes or something, they give you a treatment plan. They, they prescribe you medications to manage your hypertension because you may go in there and may be really high and you need some medication in order to uh, level it out. And so, or your sugar. So you need to take these medications and you come back. A lot of times they, they, most of the times they increase the medications. And what they're doing is they're managing the problem. They're not getting to the root cause. They're not um, showing you how to get rid of the problem. But they, they're just managing your symptoms and keeping you alive, right? So when I created my program at Truly Plant Based, I didn't want, like a lot of times you Google and you look up stress and they talk about ways to manage stress, right? So, you know, that's good and all, managing stress. There's some good uh, advice and tips 
about man and its stress, but in our program, we create exit strategies to eliminate stress, unnecessary stress or stressors uh, that have been plaguing you. We create exit strategies to eliminate the stress, not just manage it. Because when you manage it, it's still there. You're just keeping it at bay. And then sometimes what happens? When you manage it, you have slip-ups. You uh, revert back to old behaviors or um, the medications stop working. And so managing can be good, but eliminating is even better. So that's what we, uh, that's our mission at Truly Plant Based is to eliminate the stress. And so, but that's not necessarily this is for everyone because sometimes chronic stress can be related to mental health disorders. Um, sometimes it can be a genetic uh, proponent involved. Uh, it can be a lot of other maybe other different things, other things that can be related that is um, triggering, triggering stress responses and how you react to stress. So this doesn't apply in all cases. However, if you, I won't say relatively healthy, but if you're um, have mentally uh, addressing, you know, if you have mental health challenges if you don't have those types of mental health challenges and you are and you you feel you have the capability to um address and deal with your stress and anxiety exiting an exit strategy to me is the most this is the best way to 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 attack chronic stress and that again that is what we try to do for our clients at truly plant-based because chronic stress, as I said, it is deadly. It can kill you if not addressed it, or, and destroy your life. So it, it needs to be something that needs to be addressed. And in my opinion, it's one of the root causes of why so many people uh, turn to food, drugs, uh, unhealthy behaviors. And when you're a caregiver, you are taking on a whole lot of stress depending on the your the person you're cared for. A lot of times it's mostly your aging parents. A lot of times it's children with disability disabilities or family members with disabilities. And then you're still trying to make it out here in this system with the the state of the world conditions today, finances and all that. It's a lot that you take on and the, the stress can easily become chronic. So I want to encourage everyone to, to be aware, you know, about, of the type of stress they're taking on. And there are different ways you can manage your stress. And one of them is a healthy diet and changing your lifestyle habits. A plant-based, a whole food plant-based diet is one of the, one of the best ways to help you with dealing with your stress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I was looking at a research, I was studying and looking at a research paper that talked about how saturated fat, diets high in fat, um, are related to more depression, anxiety, and stress. So plant-based diets, the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, they're excellent um, to um, help you to lose weight, to help your brain function, um, eliminate all that white flour products, white sugar, sugar in general is great for your brain function. The, the sugar causes inflammation and the things that you put in your body can increase your body's response to stress causing more problems and a whole food plant-based diet is one of a uh, really great way to help to combat uh, chronic stress, anxiety, and, and depression even. It can help with depression as well. Also, regular exercise. Exercise is great for um, it decreasing depression and inflammation and your body 
just working at its optimal. And the two together are powerhouses. And then you need your sleep. You gotta get enough sleep because if you don't, it increases stress. Sometimes we turn to coffee and caffeine to boost our energy, but we don't realize how much street sleep can help in that area. But chronic stress is a big one. And it's usually not talked about a lot. Is that the, to me, it's like at the bottom of the list. When I go to the doctor, nobody's telling me about chronic stress and how to, you know, deal with it. So I just wanted to come on and share that. And I hope you guys have an amazing day, a stress-free day. And it's sometimes it can be hard out there dealing with relationships, work pressures, and and things like that, but we consciously try to uh, filter that out and have an amazing day. And if you need some help with exiting out of chronic stress and the stress that's maybe wreaking havoc and you want an exit strategy and not just managing your stress, you know, contact us and we're here to help. All right, so please like, subscribe, and continue to follow. All right, have a great day, guys.